up to DIY Solar Homestead. So uh, I'm at Brookside Greenhouses and I'm getting some plants. Got to have some vegetables for the garden. And I wanted to show you we got some cool statues per se. Mannequins, whatever you want to call them. For the holiday. And what I like most this is Iwo Jima. <laughs> Iwo Jima. So they decorate them in different, per se, costumes for each event. They got, for Halloween, they got different costumes, different things going on. But that's pretty cool. And of course, you gotta love the army uniform. <laughs> well, yeah, we got the four flags. What we don't have here. Well, we're missing one. What is it? Here's the Army, Marine, Navy, Coast Guard. Oh, we're missing Navy. No, the Navy. I'm missing one in my in my head. But anyway, let me take you back to the greenhouse. Here's what I got. And of course, all the homesteaders are saying that if you put onions on the perimeter, it keeps the moles out. So I got red onion starters, and I got different chives. And then I, there's mustard, and there might be some bok choy in there, and a few other. Marigolds are good to keep your, keep out the, little critters like your, your your rabbits and such so I'm so I'm told but they got a lot of different greenhouses back here this far one over here is food only so that's the vegetables the rest is well I call junk <laughs> can't eat it So here we go. All kinds of little greenhouses. This is awesome. So you can uncover it every single morning. So they can get the warmth and sunlight. Oh, look at that. I'm loving that. You can get the big leafy ones in there too. Starters. I haven't ever been in those back there. I want one. I want to be able to grow all my own food. So if you live in the Battle Creek area, Brookside Greenhouse in Urbandale. Lots of assortments. A lot of everything. This is perfect for the pollinators. This will bring in the bees. Another greenhouse showing lots of foliage. Heads of flowers for the pollinators. I like the big, big leafy greens. They're beautiful. Here's where the vegetables start. That's what I like. We got the big tomatoes. Look at that. Already started. Some of them are already fruiting. I saw one plant that had a dozen little. Yes. Yes. It has little tomatoes on it already. There's some right there. Some right there. There's a couple of them right. I gotta find my finger on here. There we go. I think those are 12 or something like that. I might get one. There's your pak choy, arugula, mustard, Swiss chard, some kale. So if you live in the Battle Creek area, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, different kinds of cabbage, got herbs. We have several different kinds of tomato in here. 
stevia, basil, celery, husky cherry red hybrid, moby grape, sun sugar, yellow pear, dill. Don't forget the dill, you gotta have that stuff. There's orange blaze over there, yellow zucchini, I'm gonna cut it short, right about there. There's some taller tomatoes back there. I went to the counter and said, I won't wear your food. <laughs> they said, what do you mean? <laughs> I said, I wanna grow food, not flowers. But you gotta have the pollinators anyway. So I got a couple things that I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get these in the ground first, get the, get the, uh, Marigolds down and put the onions around the outskirts. Keep the critters out. And then I'm gonna, I gotta get a solar charger. I got a fence. Keep the critters out. That way also, I gotta get the charger for that. And then uh, I gotta get the indoor garden outdoors. Coming to a theater near you. And uh, have a nice sunny day.